Hi, I'm Kirsten Kier Weiss. I'm here today with Talia, and we are going to do a five minute makeup, really seeing and showcasing how easy it is just to do a super quick but very pretty makeup, uh, but not having it take very long. So I'm going to start um, with just applying a little bit of foundation. Just going super light over the skin. Really just applying the most sheer coverage where you don't need a lot of foundation and then just adding um, a little bit more and building it up. But you might just have a little imperfection or a little redness around the eye. And then I would go into doing the brows. I love filling in the brows with um, almost like a mocha colored eyeshadow. Um, personally, I prefer working with an eyeshadow since it's a dry product compared to a pencil. Pencils typically have waxes in them, so I feel that they are easier, oh, excuse me, they're more difficult to move around. And if you put on a little bit too much, even more so. It can just be hard to blend it nicely and have it be like a natural look. So just filling it in with an angle brush like this and using an eyeshadow color. Um, I tend to recommend that you use a color that's about one to two shades lighter than your actual uh, eyebrows. Because otherwise, if you pick a color that's the perfect match for Talia's brows, it would kind of be, you know, like close to a black and it would just immediately look uh, way too dark, way too much and severe. So just filling them in gently. Having a slanted brush is a really good tool because you can kind of just perfect the shape and making it thinner as you go out. And having, you know, like a groomed brow, if you only have five minutes, I think is um, one of the best things to spend you know, part of your five minutes on because it'll just leave like an overall um, sort of flawless look. Then I'm gonna step into a little bit of eyeshadow and just start with a light base. Here I'm using Cloud9. And just go over the entire lid, you know, almost like creating it a, as a base. Uh, similar to if you were painting, you know, you just want to have that sort of kind of pale canvas. And then I would go into like a medium color to create a little bit of depth to the eye. And just sort of be generous with it uh, and not worry too much about the application technique, should it be out in the corner, should it sort of go alongside the lashes, just like a soft flush of color all over the lid and then just with the lighter color underneath, you can really just blend it nicely and create depth to the eye in a, in a very short amount of time. And open your eyes, yes. Then I would go and grab what we have, uh, it's called the definition brush. And it's just a little bit smaller, and if you look up, you just go in and sort of add a little bit of color alongside the lash line. That way you're framing the eye. So the overall look is, you know, just a very natural sort of non makeup y look, but it'll make the eyes pop. And so you start out, you connect it with the color from the upper lid, and then you just go lighter, lighter, lighter as you get closer to the corner of the eye. Like that. Then I would go into applying mascara. Um, Mascara, which is 
as you can see, smaller on purpose. Um, there's really enough product in here for three months. And I personally think of all the things that I've seen out in the field, you know, when working as a, a professional makeup artist for over 20 years, it's one too many um, dry and sort of expired mascaras. Um, this is a wet area where you apply every day, so you just really want to make sure that you have a mascara that's fresh and, um, and that you haven't used too long. So I would say three months, just due to the bacteria buildup, you will get otherwise. And look up a little bit, and maybe add just a tiny bit on the lower lashes. And then we'll go on to blush. Blush is probably one of my favorite products. Um, I think it's the product that can create the biggest amount of difference in sort of like the shortest amount of time. And I love applying it just on the apples of the cheeks because it just gives you a very kind of fresh faced look, you know, sort of resembling that you just came back from a, a weekend vacation. And you can apply it with the fingers like I'm doing here. That way you really just melt it into the skin. But you can also, if you prefer and don't like to put your fingers into a product, you can use our blush brush and just go over the cheeks like that. And don't be nervous about using a cream blush. I personally love them because they leave this sort of dewy finish on the skin. And uh, a lot of times, you know, I'll hear, well, I'm a little nervous if I apply too much, you know, like how do I get it off? It's actually, if that happened, it's way easier just to keep blending it until it has the amount of color that you want compared to a dry blush. I personally feel if you have a dry blush on there and you've applied a little bit too much, um, it's a lot harder to, to move it on top of a foundation. Something like this. And then at the very end, we're gonna do a little bit of lip tint. Our lip tints, um, you know, are a mixture of a lip balm, just with a hint of color. So it has the formulation of a lip balm, so you'll get a lot of moisture, but it's more sheer, it's lighter than a lipstick. So it's great just for day, and it's great just for uh, a five minute look like we're doing here. You can also apply it directly on the lips just with your fingers. Um, but I'm just using our lip brush here. And that's really it. Here's your five minute look. Um, it's very easy and it's, all the products are super easy to blend, so have fun.